Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of oh, Mixed Mala. Mala and in um, today's episode we're going to be doing this Makita dish sauce. Again? Yeah, because, only because, um, only because Daddy. Daddy's been struggling with it a little bit. Bula. We'll do more lawn mowers later on, yeah. Okay. You can definitely come. Um, I've been doing a Makita and so far I've done a pull cord. I've Pull cord, yeah, that was broken. That? I've done that Where? and got it running. Um, I've done a carburetor clean and got it running, but it just as soon as you give it the, the beans, it don't want to know. Beans? However, yeah, however, yeah. I did pick up this. Hi, no, this came the other day. You saw it the other day, buddy, did didn't you? Try? you? If this is the, gar the um, <gasps> carburetor gasket set, so a new, a new, um, that? not opening it, a new carburetor for that is about 120 pound, and I'm not paying that. It outweighs the cost of the saw. What's that? So I thought I would try putting a complete new um, carburetor overhaul in it and see how that gets on. Um, hopefully that will do the trick. That's what I'm hoping. So that'll be today. So I'm going to get the Makita disc saw up on the bench and get it stripped down, um, get the carburetor out, and then I'll just start the video from there because there's the other videos that you see me how to take it in and out and what have you. So um, you can link to that. That's not a problem. So, come on Riley boy, let's get down and dirty yeah, and let's try and get this Makita disc saw up and running as it should do. Okay, so now I've got the carburetor back off the machine and we're going to start to break this down um, and put the new components in where I can. Going to start by undoing these four Phillips screws. So I'm hoping this is all going to fit. That's a theory. <clears throat> so this should be a, a carb rebuild job. I'm hoping it'll do it, as I say. It may not yet. <clears throat> but until we uh, take it apart and put it back together, we won't know. But as soon as you hit the throttle, it's just dying, which is telling me it's fuel delivery issue. So, so these carburetors for these are, uh, are not cheap. That comes off. <coughs> and we've got a um, gasket and diaphragm there. You're gonna open this other packet up and just lay these bits out so I can transfer them over as we change them. There's all the bits. <coughs> so this one should be that one. And it looks yeah it looks the same. And we want a gasket to follow that which should be that one there as well. So the gasket goes on the bottom. And there's a bit of gunk in there. This is why I didn't want to take it off last time because I didn't have the spares. So that needs to be cleaned up. Gasket on first and then <coughs> um, the diaphragm. Let me get it cleaned up and I'll come back. Okay, that's the first bit cleaned up. That's going to go on there like so. And that'll go on there like so. <clears throat> Daddy? Yes, buddy? Why was you two? Yeah, I'm just trying to do this um, carburetor rebuild, buddy. Carburetor? Carburetor rebuild. What's that? Just double checking these are exactly the same. Is that? They look the same. The same? Yeah, they are. Okay. Right, so that bit's fine. That goes over there out of the way so I don't lose it. <clears throat> It or... um, we've got a Welch plug here, or filter as some people call it. I'll call it a Welch plug. Call it auto. I'm going to remove that. That one comes out. I've got a new one to go in, but I want to just want to air compress this with um, my air compressor. Should be loud? Shouldn't be loud, mate. Should be absolutely fine. Just want to get in there and compress that. Okay. 
play. That made you jump, Riley boy, did it? <laughs> oh, you go bang. Okay. You're alright, mate. Here's, here's a kiss. Mm. You're okay, no, you're fine. Turn, don't turn it off now. Fine, turn it off. So I've got the new filter to go in. It's gonna be this one. I just wanna use a torque screwdriver or something similar just to encourage that into its new home. Find also the best tool for his Sharpie pen. They're really good. Because it's just literally the right thickness to get it all in. That may be a bit too narrow. Let me find something sort of with a bit more shape to it. Just to start it off. Once it's in, I can then press it. And then that's got to be well seated now. <laughs> so now we can just go around the edges and make sure that's well seated. Because that, if that comes out, it won't be doing its job. Don't want to crease it. That's in. Okay, nothing else to go in there. So now we can put that. Um, gasket and diaphragm set back on. Let's line it all up. I've got to remember which way around this goes now. I think it goes that way around. Off the top of my head. Once it all lines up. It goes on like so. <clears throat> They can be screwed in and I'll come back to you. <coughs> right, that's all now in. We can now come around the other side <coughs> and take these screws out here. These are a bit smaller. I might have to get a slightly smaller screwdriver on that. Not much. That's got a better head on it, I think. Okay. So now we're over the other side. I'm going to start to take the other side off. I really, really hope this works. Really, I do. Because this type of job baffles me when uh, it starts to play up. It runs, it starts, it just won't go flat out. And two strokes are finicky. I also love a challenge. Let's move in bits out of the way. Let's have this one off. So we've got a diaphragm on here and a gasket set. And the gasket will go on first and then the diaphragm will go on top. It has got a little tiny cap here. I should probably leave that on. I have got one here which 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 will go in. But that's a bit smaller actually. But I may leave that I may leave it in there as it is now. Because that'd be pressed in. But give me a smaller one as well, which it doesn't have. So I'm not overly concerned about that. I think this is actually the issue is that this diaphragm, as you can see, has got creases in it, 
where it's saggy and this one is nice and nice and nice and tight so I think that's the main issue however I'm going to replace the needle if they are exactly the same cool the last time I think I struggled to get this out there it goes Now, the difference is quite comparable because the needle I've got versus the needle they've given me, and I've got a spare as well, they give me two different types. So I will be putting in the new one, so the old one can go for a Burton. Um, did they give me a spring as well? I'm not seeing a spring with this, it could have shot out to be fair. I'm not seeing a spring, so I'll be careful here. Well, I just want to air compress this all off now, give that a good blowout, make sure that's all free, and then I'll come back. Right, it's all been compressed out. And now, I'm gonna to start to reassemble this bit. Oop. These are so thin, so small. This is where I struggle. That all goes in together and then pushes down on top of the spring that's nearly got it in one, hasn't quite seated yet, there it goes uh, a little tiny screw that goes in there do that up like so Let's make sure that's working. Yeah. Now, with the new um, with the new gasket that goes on, and it goes on one way, which would be like so. They have sent me a spare one of these as well, and they look to be identical. From what I can see, there's no difference in them at all. Oh no, there is a difference. Yeah, there is a difference actually. But mine was the same as what it was, so I'm happy. Um, new diaphragm. Now the diaphragms on these, they got a little tiny clip on the bottom. And that diaphragm clip on the bottom here, let me show you. This piece just here, that actually sits under this piece here. That's quite important. So just literally slide it underneath that arm and it's in place. Um, it needs to sit in there, so if you're not sure, just get hold of it, lift it up, and just check it. Yeah, that's underneath there. That one goes there, and then that one goes there like so. And I'll just do those four up, and I'll come back. Okay, so I'm now going to start to fit the carburetor back into its housing very carefully got one more clip here to put on as well that all slides into place that clip goes over the back into there mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then oh, I've got a cable pinched here somewhere it is It's not bending, that's better. I like you too, my little boy. Mummy back home. Mummy's back soon, won't she? Where's mummy today? Um, Mummy's at work, isn't she? I yeah. Go and tell Nana then. Nana will be pleased to hear it. Mm -hmm. So it goes back into place. And once it's all been screwed down okay. into its home, uh -huh. that'll work. I've got some two big bolts here to go through the carburetor 
one in there whoop and one in there this is a bit fiddly this one I might come back out just so I can get that to go in that's it and just slowly try to work them back into their position here it doesn't line up just give it a bit of a wiggle it will go there it goes tighten that one down nice and tight not too tight because it is all plastic that arm can go back on it and that should all now work as it should there you go Ooh. Right, that's all now reassembled, and uh, once it's on, it'll, look, it'll be a lot more sturdier, and it'll all work. There's a throttle, and once that's in place and held down, that'll work. That's no problem. It goes there. You see, but it's got to be all, all be screwed down into its, into its place to make it work properly. So let's get it fitted back onto the disc saw, and I'll come back. Right, so we're getting somewhere close now. Just checking for any fuel leaks. I don't think I've got any. It's a bit wet under there because I had just connected up the fuel pipe, but uh, I think that's all in. Um, that's all on. I still got filters to come yet. They haven't arrived. They should have been here the day before yesterday, but they're not here yet. So um, when it gets when it turns up, I'll um, put new filters in. But as of yet, they're not here. So I'm a little bit stuck. With that. Don't do that, buddy. You'll fall over something inside the shed, won't you? Hey, good boy. Um, okay, so this hey, bit's got to go on here now, Riley. I know why. I'm my boy, boy. You're a Riley boy, yeah. You're my little Riley boy, aren't you? What's that? That's a cover. Cover? Yeah. And What's this that? one was particularly tricky last time. So I'm going to screw it down in sections. Because that's all got it. That's good. That's that one. Daddy? Yeah. <laughs> it's why I'm screwing down on a plastic. So it's going to rain again, Riley. Oh, not really. Yeah, I know. That one. And then that one there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, that one goes on that way, Riley. Okay. Yeah. That's it. And what I want. Hey, is, there's a special little screw bit that goes on here. I think Daddy's got it in here somewhere. Somewhere. Oh. No, it's here, mate. It is here, isn't it? Because oh. Daddy uh, had it out earlier. I think that could be the one. Yeah, that's it. Right. So that is now all on as it should be if it's not if, if it doesn't cure it then it's going to be put on the back burner because um, um, I can't justify paying a hundred odd pound for a carburetor for this so um, we're gonna be a bit stuck if this doesn't fire up so let me clear the decks right up this is gonna be quite noisy Riley won't like it so um, I need to make sure that it runs properly. I need to rev it up. I might need to also adjust the carburetor jets because I did muck with them earlier on in a previous video. So let me clear the decks down and I'll come back. 
Right, let's have a look here then. Decompression onto choke. And let's see what happens. Fired again. mate not finished not yet mate I'm gonna go one, one. and a quarter turns <coughs> pardon me one and a quarter turns <coughs> on both so tighten that right up <coughs> I've got a right frog in my throat daddy yeah what's out one and a quarter turns <coughs> right I'm gonna fire up again Riley boy how you go mate <coughs> it's too loud for your little ears I don't want to expose you to it <coughs> Yeah, I'll talk to you when I'm done, mate. No worries. Just a bit too loud for you. Right, <clears throat> let's uh, try that again. So we're now both set at one and a quarter. Shouldn't need no choke this time. to a degree, but it's definitely picking up better than what it was. Just a question, just fine tuning this car, brother. the low side of it now.
just fine tuning. Um, it's definitely running much better than what it is. So um, I might change the spark plug and put new filters on it, put a blade on it, and then re go from there. But uh, it definitely is running much better than what it was. <coughs> okay, so literally, just as I finished doing this video, um, the filter's turned up for this saw. So it's got one filter here, new filter, one new filter here. It's also yeah. got inside here yeah. there's inside under this one there's another one yeah there's a white cover this filter this um filter here it's a new one because the old one is um over here somewhere here's the old one so exactly the same but um that that's the old one it also had come with the kit i think this is 15 pound so this filter that filter and a white case um a new fuel filter and also a um new spark plug as well right. so sure. i just put them back together Daddy. just want to fire this up to see if it makes any difference now it hasn't got a blade on it uh, and you should you should tune these up yes buddy you hear that? hey you hear that? hammer no i don't need a hammer mate. no well, i hope not oh. um you should still tune these up oh, on the carburetors with a disc on but i don't Daddy. have a disc at the moment Watch out, you I'm to get, pick one up tonight um but i've had it running and i literally just had to fine tune the lower end of a carburetor for the low rev so let me just put a camera over here right boy thank you thank you my little lad and all i'm going to do is just going to fire it up and you see the difference it makes just by having the filters on i think it still wants another little tiny tweak but i think we're there now this was run probably about half an hour ago so it should be cold now so on to choke and we're going to fire that up on oh, decompression yeah. and already it's, it's firing better So it's now actually idling as it should do and running flat out without bogging. Um, it wants a blade put on it just so I can really fine tune that carburetor. I think it just wants a little tiny bit more on the upper edge on the high end once the blade's on, but super, super chuff. That is now all up and running and uh, running exactly how it should do. Okay, so I've had to redo the whole end of the video because it wasn't running right originally, which you'll probably see well, you, or you would have seen in the video anyway. I'm trying to edit some of it out, but um, just with the filters running, it makes. Daddy, yes, buddy. With my camera. With what? Big camera. Camera. In my camera. What camera? In my. On the stick. Yeah. That's for the holiday. That's for the holiday. Right there. Yeah, it's similar. Yeah. Hi, similar. say it. hi. Yeah, it. Check out what it is out. Come, come sit down quickly. So as I say, um. Yeah, it wasn't running right, but I, I knew that without the filters in it, it's just, it's just sucking way too much air in, um, and not doing what it should what be doing. Say? Sucking. Sucking. Love it like a straw. Sucking. Yeah, sucking. So with the right filters, and there's a fuel filter gone in, two air filters, and a, 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 a screen as well, um, and a new spark plug, and it makes all the difference. Daddy. Um, that saw now. Daddy. Um, yes, buddy. Where you been? I'm going to get Nana's medication. Okay. Nana's tablets. I've already been. So that saw now currently stands me in it. I don't mind telling you. I bought it for about 15, 20 quid. The new spring was at 11 pound. The filters, I think, I think they were 15 um, as a kit. So what's that? That's uh, 25 there, um, 35. It's cost me 40 pound. 40 pound for a Makita concrete saw, um, disc cutter. Um, and with different blades, you can cut stone, you can cut anything you like metal whatever you like so um worth every single penny so i'm super super happy so thank you very much for joining myself and my little riley on this episode of mixed mowers um we hope you did riley enjoy boy. it we certainly did riley boy yeah sorry riley boy stop picking your fingernails i know we hope you enjoyed it don't forget to leave any comments positive or negative down below um hit, hit, the, bell. hit the bell what else uh, try. don't forget to subscribe and until next time, we will catch you all very, very soon. Yeah. And don't forget, take it easy. easy.